This year, on the nation's proudest driving show, we wanted to use patriotic automobiles. But the truth is, there just aren't a whole lot of classic Canadian cars out there. So we wound up buying a Canadian-made Dodge Challenger that we painted up real nice, but then the most abysmal drivers in the entire country got in it. And now, it kind of looks like it was mugged by a tank. At the end of this show, though, our final one of the year, I will get my retribution the only way I know how, by handing out this trophy and naming our season seven recipient of the unwanted title, Canada's worst driver. The finalists for Canada's Worst Driver are... Aaron, Sly, and Shirley. In Calgary, Aaron drives very slowly. Any faster than 40 kilometers an hour, I would say I get a little apprehensive. Aaron was a good driver, but six years ago, a distracted driver hit him, causing permanent physical injuries. In rehab, Aaron and his father, Lee, have been trying to determine if Aaron should keep driving. That wasn't bad. Or if he should just give it up. That's too big of a step for me. You're pissing me off? Shirley is from a small town in Cape Breton. You got to help me here. And she never used to have to drive in traffic. Am I going over there? Yes. Now she's retired, and Shirley wants to drive on the highway to get to her daughter Janice's new home in Halifax. You don't stop, you don't stop, you don't stop. In rehab, Shirley is trying to learn enough skills to feel comfortable on the Trans-Canada. And some days, she looks like she has learned enough. And some days, she doesn't. Oh, damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Sly is a delivery man from Lethbridge, Alberta, who is addicted to his handheld GPS device. Although latitude isn't working the greatest today. Sly doesn't think he's dangerous. Are you excited? But in rehab, Fred, who is Sly's safety conscious brother-in-law, whoops, is trying to make Sly realize that he's extremely dangerous. Freak, I'm sorry, I am not a backwards driver. We've taught Canada's worst drivers how to go backwards. By now, they've fully grasped the concept of the S-turn. They understand front-end swing. They have practiced and practiced parallel parking. Now, in this, our final episode, their first challenge will combine all those elements, and it will come together in one dastardly challenge that we call... Can you reverse in a straight line? The Canada's Worst Driver finalists will have to reverse down this perfectly straight laneway. To pass, they must get all the way through in 20 seconds or less without having their car hit anything. And it's not just any car I'm talking about either. It's our absolutely gorgeous 1967 Chrysler Newport that is in such good shape, grandfathers everywhere want to own it. Aaron volunteers to go first in our straight line challenge. We can do this, guys. Aaron can't do it going the super slow speed he starts off at. 
18, 19, 20. Aaron knows he has to do this entire course in less than 20 seconds, but... 58, 59, that's a minute already. He is crawling along, and he's hitting things. Watching every move the bad drivers make is our team of experts. We've got traffic law guru Cam Woolley, therapist Shamala Kiru, and our driving instructors Philippe Letourneau and Peter Mellor. I'm not hopeful about this one. At the end of this show, these experts will help me decide who is Canada's worst driver. And if Aaron doesn't hurry up, it'll be him. He finishes his first run in... Five minutes and five seconds. Okay, the goal is 20 seconds. 20, two, zero. On his second run... Go. Aaron is out of control. <laughs> Try going straight for a second and just make sure you're going straight and then... Thank you, Sly. To see if they can pass this challenge... Go! Drivers get 10 chances. Awesome! Sly, I need you to shut up, please. Okay, sorry. Sly keeps chatting. Oh, wow. And Aaron keeps hitting. Off for f sakes. Straighten your wheels. I really want Aaron to pass, but oh, he's justifying to the passenger side. Ouch. Aaron is looking. Go. Like he may never pass. Five seconds. On your mark, get set, go. There you go, there's a start. Well, there's a finish. For sake. Oh. I have a terrible, terrible feeling about this. On his final run, Aaron starts off fast and... He ends with a bang. Aaron might be Canada's worst driver. And I was like, dude, you know what you're doing. You've been shown by experts, now f do it. And I caused damage. Aaron still doesn't think he's Canada's worst driver. Because if I did that bad, things are going to get worse. Not necessarily. Shirley is up next. Go! Shirley gets off to a fast start. She accelerates smoothly. Hey, look at this. And she finishes in 19 seconds. Oh, yes. Oh, mama, yeah. yeah. So wait. Yes. I did it. 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 Oh, and I know I could. I know I could. I know I could. I know I could. Shirley and I have shared many hugs at the rehab center. Yeah. After the snowplow challenge. After the moose avoiding challenge. Oh, God, love you. And after every challenge she passed. But this hug will be the sweetest of them all. Shirley! Can reverse in a straight line. I'm the proudest Canadian today. Sly says he's going to go fast. Go! Whoa, that is fast. It's too fast! Oh. 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 <sighs> Freak! Everybody's okay? Yeah. yeah. Even though that was clearly a failure. Oh. Oh. I want Sly to complete this attempt so he can get a better feel for the car. 
Holy cow. I can't seem to do this. What is he doing? That was a complete disaster. On his second run, disaster ensues again. God. We taught you everything you need to know to accomplish this, did we? Yes. We should have also taught Sly car repair. Ah. Oh, I liked that car. As Sly lines up for his eighth attempt, our pristine Newport is pristine no more. Man, what is it about one's eyes that makes you go where you don't want to go because you're looking at it? Sly's ninth run gets off to a terrible start. Crap. Well. But his final attempt starts perfectly. Good. Good. Will this be Sly's winning effort? Oh, I, I just lost. Sly. Should consider giving up driving. I can't give up my driver's license. I mean, I use it for, uh, to earn income. When we come back, Canada's worst drivers do our annual mega challenge. We did 24 driving challenges at our rehab center this year. Now, we've got bits and pieces of all those challenges rolled up into one single challenge. And we call it... The Mega Challenge! Before they do the Mega Challenge... I'll show you how it's done in the finest car we have in our fleet this season. Oh, sure, the freshly painted Challenger looks like a wreck, but... She's still running. Here we go, and as we know, this car likes to go 50, 40, 50, just like that. The Mega Challenge starts with a 50k an hour slalom around some defenseless hockey players. Whoa! Now I gotta drop my speed down to 40 to make the icy corner. That's right, an icy corner awaits. Slam on the brakes, turn the wheel. Then release the brakes. If you don't release them, the car will never turn. Woo, just at the last second. The icy corner leads to a narrow laneway of cars that leads to a corral built for doing donuts. Once drivers successfully accomplish a donut, this car loves to do donuts. Look at that. And I'm out. The way out leads to a hallway of rims that only lasts for 20 meters. And now it's time for the reversing section. And almost immediately, I'm stuck. So I need to S-turn to my right. All the way to my right. All the way to my left. And I'm ready. One minute later... I'm out of the precision section. Alrighty. And I'm headed for our exciting finish. As you recall, in our fourth episode this year, the drivers learned how to do a reverse 180 spin around, and doing it looks kinda like this. Yeah, baby. I ain't Canada's worst driver. The entire mega challenge took me six minutes. Man, I get better every year. Woo! Aaron starts... by taking the slalom turn so wide, he loses control. Held him right in the middle. <laughs> when Aaron gets to the icy corner, he doesn't even touch his brakes. Cut across, cut across, cut across. Did I do that wrong? Right off the course. 
Driving through the parked cars, Aaron hits... Nothing! But in the donut corral... He hits the wall. Well, that's not what we taught him. Aaron does exactly what we taught him on the forward precision section and the reverse precision section. And on the exciting finish, Aaron goes through the arches, but he only steers one way on the spin out, and he does it too soon. Oh, okay. So close. Close in cars isn't good enough. You know that we're driving in public tomorrow? Yeah. Promise me I'll be safe. Absolutely, Andrew, you'll be so safe. When we come back, Hot Mom. Shirley and Sly run the mega challenge. Do this. The finalists for Canada's Worst Driver are showing us what they were able to learn in rehab by doing our annual mega challenge. Before Sly goes, he consults his notes. Is this going to be part of your driving life when you go home, checking your notes? Uh, no, but these are not things I do on a regular basis. Evasive steering, icy corner. If you're driving with notes, take this note. Buses work. But they're too slow. Driving 50K an hour is too fast for Sly. 40, 50. Oh. Whoa! Freak! Ah! Whoa! When Sly regains his composure, he tries taking our icy corner. And with his adrenaline flowing, Sly remembers to hit the brakes, but... Oh, crap! Oh. Freak, I forgot. You gotta let go of the brake. Through the hallway of cars, Sly doesn't stop when he hears himself caught on something. I think Sly might be Canada's worst driver. Even though Sly checks his notes on how to reverse, he's unable to reverse. No, oh, the front end swing, Sly. That's front end swing. We learned about that. How do you do an S-turn? Yeah, don't do it like this. Going through the eye of the needle, Sly does very well, until the last one. Oh. Oh. Oh, freak. When Sly regroups for his reverse 180, he tries to do it while looking forwards. After this fiasco, I'm worried about tomorrow's public drive. And just driving on the roads and stuff, no obstacles or anything should be okay. Are you... No obstacles? Tomorrow there's going to be living obstacles, pedestrians. Oh, I don't usually hit people. Shirley is excited to be doing the... Mega Challenge! Shirley is the only driver to be perfect through the slalom. And her technique will be perfect on the icy corner, but she's going 10K an hour too fast. Damn it. Damn it. Shirley's really improved. I am doing fantastic. In the donut corral, Shirley remembers that she has to counter steer but she tries doing it before the car is spinning out. Come on, come on, break, break, break! She's doing very well considering Janice is still a screech owl. What? Where are you going? Shirley is going to the finish. Well, the sun is setting on another season here at the Driver Rehabilitation Center. And by the sounds of things, it's not going so hot behind me. But believe me, Shirley's not the worst. I think and hope. 
Judging by her 180 spin out, Shirley's not the worst. Darling. <laughs> Shirley learned a lot in rehab. And thank you, rehab. Thank you. When we come back, I get driven through the streets of Hamilton by Canada's worst drivers. You're stopping on the highway. The public streets of Hamilton are waiting for the country's three lousiest motorists. Navigating their way around a 30-turn route is the final challenge for Canada's worst drivers. This ultimate test was supposed to be done in our snazzy Dodge Challenger, but... Our mechanic just declared it dead. She'll never start again. So unfortunately, for their final public road test, we had to get Canada's worst drivers a rental car. Specifically, we got them... A 1966 Mustang convertible! This immaculate Mustang convertible will help us answer the question... Who is the worst? And surely will drive me first. Here's how this challenge will work. We're gonna go out here. I will give clear instructions. So your first instruction is to exit the parking lot and turn left on Concession Street. The drivers will then follow those instructions. And that's it. Your next instruction is left at Upper Wellington Street. Any ticketable offense that drivers make will be pointed out and tallied up. See where you're parked? Yes. Illegal. It's illegal to stop over this white line. Oh, did I ever go over it? When Shirley goes again, she turns from the far left lane into the far right lane. Drifting across lanes while turning will cost you 110 bucks. You must turn into the into closest the lane. lane. Shirley is now in a left turn lane. I want to go left. Okay, perfect. But she's next to a left turn lane. And that confuses her so much that when the left turn arrow comes on, she does nothing. You're at a green light right now. Now, so I can't. Shirley can't stay here, but she does until the arrow turns yellow. You gotta arrow. go straight. Okay, very interesting. Doing nothing at a green light is one violation. And going straight from a turning lane is another. When drivers miss a turn on this test, it's up to them to get back on course. Trying to get back, Shirley makes her biggest mistake yet. You see that big arrow there? That it's means one, one way. way. And wouldn't you know it, a police officer sees her. Luckily, though, he lets her off with a warning. Thank you very much, officer. Appreciate it. Oh, this is disastrous. Now, Shirley is again confused being in a left turn lane beside a left turn lane. I gotta do something because there's a green arrow. Again, Shirley goes straight from a turning lane, which you really shouldn't do. Okay, Andrew, That's these noble. are wonderful tips. Here's another wonderful tip. Don't drive on the left side of a double yellow line. And that's crossing a yellow line. See that yellow line that we're on right now? You want to have that on the other side, Shirley. Shirley, turn over, 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 over now. You're on a blind hill. Holy Oh, this man. was a two-way. Being on the wrong side of a two-way street is very bad for my nerves. Always have to stay to the right of the double yellow lines. Stay to the right of them. Oh, yes, a double yellow line is the deadliest road marking ever. Okay, I've never seen one of those in my life. A double yellow line? No, never. Wow. I'll never forget that. 
Headed through the next intersection, Shirley sees her light turn yellow. I gotta stop. And she stops in a crosswalk. See, this thing we're in here is called a pedestrian crossway. When the light becomes green, Shirley remains in the pedestrian crosswalk and doesn't move again until... It's red now. And once again, you turned into two lanes at once. Yeah. I think we should probably stop this drive. Yeah, I'm just, nerves are gone. Okay, then pull over, because I don't want to drive with somebody whose nerves are gone. No, they're not really. My nerves really are almost gone. Shirley stops in another crosswalk. You see that orange light that you just passed? And then she stops in another crosswalk. That's the crosswalk. So we're in a pedestrian crosswalk right now. Right now? We're headed for the big leagues. Six lanes of highway traffic wait for us. Headed for that highway traffic. I'm worried that Shirley doesn't know what she's getting into. What does this sign mean right there? There's gonna be, I don't know. It means two lanes are gonna become one. This is a merge situation. Do not stop. Attempting to merge, Shirley shoulder checks repeatedly and gets spooked by a car that's two lanes over. He's coming on for fast. Damn straight, he's coming on fast where he's on a highway. Then, because she's too afraid to merge, Shirley hits the brakes. You can't stop in a merge lane. I was all set there till he pulled in too fast. He did not pull in too fast. 30 seconds later, Shirley's still only driving 50K an hour. Then 60. Now you're going at 70 kilometers an hour. You want to be going a little bit faster. We're on the highway. Everybody's flying past us. Shirley is so slow that when she tries to merge into the slow lane... I can't get in it. See, they're just coming at me. Eventually, the lane that Shirley's in leads her to an exit that she doesn't want, and she still can't get into the proper lane. Mm, you're stopping on the highway. Go, 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 go. I try to keep my cool on these drives. Mercifully, Shirley does manage to get off the highway. And when she runs one final red light... That was yellow. She does bring me home. Well, I wasn't good at that. Not good is the understatement of the year. No, I totally understand this is I'd be killed if I was alone I could be very easily killed when we come back Sly and Aaron take their public drives left on Victoria Avenue All right. Canada's worst drivers are doing their final public drives today. Can we get a green yeah, light again? I'm just, nerves are gone. And being in a car with Shirley... Go, 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 go! ...nearly gave me a heart attack. Sly is my next chauffeur. Okay, no okay. GPS? Not having a GPS... Here we go. ...makes things difficult for Sly. Because, as someone who suffers from nonverbal learning disorder, left onto King Street East, Sly gets confused when looking for street signs. What's this one? This one is a red light. And this is a red light, Sly. Yeah, I That's know. That's a big red light. That's where I think GPS is good. How so? Well, because it lets you know that the road is is coming before you're you're there. GPS devices are good, but the one that Sly uses in Lethbridge is handheld. Keep my eyes open for Wilson. Handheld GPSs are illegal because they steal more focus than looking for street signs. If Sly wants to keep driving when he gets home, he needs to get a hands-free GPS device. Now here is where it gets weird, Sly. 
We have to hit the highway. With two hands on the wheel, Sly does his newly learned shoulder check and easily becomes part of Sunday traffic. Good man. Well done. To be honest, I'm shocked. Suddenly, our attractive car is attracting fans of our show. Look at that guy taking a picture of us with his cell phone while he's driving. Is he dri How? He was taking a picture. How? How do people do this? It's crazy. But you used to do that crazy stuff before coming to rehab. You'd have your phone in one hand, touching it, oh, looking yeah, at yeah, it. Oh, yeah, that's true. I want Sly to promise me that for the rest of his life, he'll be a two-handed driver. Promise me you'll never eat a sandwich while driving again. Yeah, I know I won't. You'll never use your cell phone while driving again. Uh, no. You'll never touch your GPS while driving I'll again. I'll listen to it. That's why they have the voice by voice. A lot of drivers need to make that promise. When he gets us home safely, Sly seems to have got the point. Yeah, you know, I mean, I just need to be more cautious, kind of ditch the bad habits. Newly reformed Sly feels good about his chances. Are you Canada's worst driver? No. I'm not Canada's worst driver. Before rehab, Aaron was apprehensive driving 40K an hour. We're going to be on the highway today going 100. OK. You're confident that that's something you want to do? I know it's something I want to do, and I'm confident in my skills. Because he was almost killed by a bad driver, I do have a lot of sympathy for Aaron. But it doesn't mean you can drift through a stop sign. Someone drifting through a stop sign is the very thing that nearly killed Aaron. You just drifted through a stop sign. This is your left turn here, right here. I'm pretty nervous now. OK. But Aaron says he wants to continue. Left on Victoria Avenue North. <laughs> Stop, stop, stop. Pull over, man. The police aren't here for Aaron. But when he's done this drive, he says he may hang up his keys forever. I'll go by the experts. Is that right? Yeah. If they recommend yeah. that you walk away, Absolutely. then you'll walk away? Absolutely. If they recommend you'll drive away, you'll drive away? Absolutely. As Aaron gets more comfortable on this drive... Very good, sir. ...his driving does get better. Well done. Much better. Very good. Headed for the highway, Aaron has found his groove. When was the last time you ever drove 100 kilometers an hour in public? Six, seven years ago. This is going to be the merge, so okay. get ready. Merging onto the highway, Aaron shoulder checks correctly and easily turns into his lane. Well done, Aaron. That's beautiful. Bring it up to 100 for me. Let's do this together. And with that... Feels good. Aaron drives 100. Wind's blowing in my air. Yes! Feels good. This is beautiful, Aaron. This is what our rehab center is all about. <laughs> Woo! After five minutes of safe highway driving... Big truck, holy coal. Aaron correctly merges off the highway. All right, Aaron. Yeah. Good job. 15 minutes later. Well done. Aaron brings us safely home. Wow. Aaron is definitely not Canada's worst driver. Dad, it's Aaron. I'm back. Back, back, back from being away for a long time, Dad. When we come back, one of these three people will receive this embarrassing trophy. Canada's worst driver is... It's almost time for the three Canada's Worst Driver finalists to go inside and tell our experts why they shouldn't receive our unwanted title. But first, we have to say a somber farewell to a special friend. 
Our once proud and shiny Dodge Challenger is now more a carcass than a car. So, with heavy hearts, we will now bury her. But before that, let's remember her fondly. Shirley, do you have any words to say? I do. I feel so sorry. I thank you, Challenger, for the wonderful speed you gave me when I did my 180 so proudly. Aaron? Well, I can say I shared some pretty startling moments in that car, but I'm glad I lived through it. So I. Challenger, you sacrificed your skin so I could learn S-turns better. Thank you so much. So long, Dodge Challenger with the cool maple leaf paint job. You served us well. Our beloved car gave up its life so the lives of Canadian drivers could be saved. Who will be named Canada's worst driver? The experts and I are waiting to chat with the nominees, starting with Sly. If driving in public didn't exist and it was just based on reversing in a straight line and the mega challenge, I'd look at you and say, Sly, you are Canada's worst driver. But there's one challenge that's more important. Public drive, how did it go? Well, I think that one went, went a lot better than any of the challenges I have done. So why do you think it is that you, you felt more relaxed during the city drive? Sly says he actually didn't feel relaxed because he had to look for street signs. Usually I have, you know, the GPS that warns me at a time when I'm at the street, and so I don't even, I can just focus on the lights. Well, me, I'm just concerned with your decision making. That's where I'm a bit worried about you. On the straight line reversing challenge and on the mega challenge, Shirley did better than anyone else. I was just so proud of you, and I know Philippe was too. But then came the public drive. Without you in the car, uh, it's something for safety reasons I would never in a million years have done. I've been on the show six years and this was one of the most dangerous uh, drives I've seen. In my heart, I thought all I learned I was ready. It sure proved I wasn't. Aaron proved that he's still unpredictable on public streets. The very first thing was you cruising through a stop sign at about 50 kilometers an hour without even noticing that it existed. Immediately, I realized, get back on the ball. You're not paying enough attention. Loved it when you got onto the highway. I thought that I wouldn't ever do that again. And I was completely impressed that I did as well as I did on the highway. Sounds to me like you got everything you wanted out of rehab. And more, and more. It's time to decide who is Canada's worst driver. Let's just go straight to the vote. Peter, do you want to start? I'm going with Sly. Shamala is on the fence. Why are you on the fence? Sly doesn't know his shortcomings, and I think he'll continue to make choices that are going to put others at risk. Shirley simply can't drive on public roads. Philippe has an opinion. Yeah, I think uh, Sly is, for me, the most dangerous driver out there. He's got a hard time backing up a vehicle in a straight line. Cam thinks Shirley is the most dangerous driver out there. It was Shirley that ultimately put you in a dangerous position. So I would say she wins or loses, if you will, by a hair. She is Canada's worst driver. Yeah, I agree. My vote's Shirley, and I'll tell you why. Shirley doesn't know what's going on on the road and can't physically make the car go where she wants to while she's on the road. Well, yeah, you're a little clouded by your recent experience. Which That's, I'm not clouded by it. it. I'm illuminated by it. I'm lit up by it. 
I don't agree with you. Last year, our vote was unanimous. This year, it's a tie, with one person still on the fence. So, make the decision, Shamla. Who would you give our title to? Shamala has made her decision. Before I name Canada's worst driver and hand out this trophy, I do have one piece of very good news. Aaron? You are this year's final graduate of the Rehab Center. Congratulations to you. I'm very All right. Most men would be less than happy if their father accused them of being the worst driver in the country. I can't drive. But Aaron is grateful. I have to say thank you. It's one of the thank best you. things you've done for me. Thank you. You did good. When Aaron started at the Driver Rehabilitation Center... I don't know how to turn the wheel. He needed his father's help. How do I do it? to make practically every driving decision. Tell me more, please, Dad! As time wore on, though... And swerve. Aaron learned a busload of different driving techniques from our experts. Huh? Nice. With that newfound knowledge, Aaron became a self-sufficient driver. Red, green. Your old man is fired as your driving instructor. <laughs> I agree. Aaron is now this year's final graduate. Way to go, Aaron. We'll see you later, buddy. And then there were two. Canada's worst driver is... You, Shirley? Of course. I'm sorry. What does that mean for Sly? It doesn't mean you're a graduate of this program. How could Sly possibly be considered a graduate of our rehab center? Whoa! Free! This year, Sly... failed more challenges than any other student. Oh. And no matter how often we tried teaching him the basics, like look where you want to go, Sly was never able to remember it in a high-stress situation. This is one of those things, to look where you want to go. All of them are look where you want to go. I, uh, I do think that Sly should have been named Worst Driver. We don't believe that Sly should ever drive, but... <laughs> at this particular moment in time... Good. We also don't believe that he is Canada's worst driver, because... Sly is capable of driving himself home, whereas Shirley is unable to do that. So... She gets burdened with our unwanted trophy. Most of the time when I've handed this trophy to somebody, I've handed it over with the line, you should really quit driving. Yes. You should not quit driving. No, I won't. I will learn more. In rehab, Shirley did learn more than anyone else this year. I did it! In fact... I did it! Shirley passed more than half of our challenges. I did it at 20, darling. Yeah. <laughs> Rehab was a wonderful, wonderful experience for me, even with this unfortunate outcome. The outcome of the public drive could have been a whole lot more unfortunate. You're stopping on the highway. In time, I think Shirley won't be the country's lousiest motorist, but... You just happen to be Canada's worst driver right now. I'll take it. Shirley from Cape Breton is Canada's worst driver. Okay, wave to myself.
Nelson Cortez. This year, on the nation's proudest driving show, we wanted to use patriotic automobiles. But the truth is, there just aren't a whole lot of classic Canadian cars out there. So we wound up buying a Canadian-made Dodge Challenger that we painted up real nice, but then the most abysmal drivers in the entire country got in it. And now, it kind of looks like it was mugged by a tank. At the end of this show, though, our final one of the year, I will get my retribution the only way I know how, by handing out this trophy and naming our season seven recipient of the unwanted title, Canada's worst driver. The finalists for Canada's Worst Driver are... Aaron, Sly, and Shirley. In Calgary, Aaron drives very slowly. Any faster than 40 kilometers an hour, I would say I get a little apprehensive. Aaron was a good driver, but six years ago, a distracted driver hit him, causing permanent physical injuries. In rehab, Aaron and his father, Lee, have been trying to determine if Aaron should keep driving. That wasn't bad. Or if he should just give it up. That's too big of a step for me. You're pissing me off? Shirley is from a small town in Cape Breton. You got to help me here. And she never used to have to drive in traffic. Am I going over there? Yes. Now she's retired, and Shirley wants to drive on the highway to get to her daughter Janice's new home in Halifax. You don't stop, you don't stop, you don't stop. In rehab, Shirley is trying to learn enough skills to feel comfortable on the Trans-Canada. And some days, she looks like she has learned enough. And some days, she doesn't. Oh, damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Sly is a delivery man from Lethbridge, Alberta, who is addicted to his handheld GPS device. Although latitude isn't working the greatest today. Sly doesn't think he's dangerous. Are you excited? But in rehab, Fred, who is Sly's safety conscious brother-in-law, whoops, is trying to make Sly realize that he's extremely dangerous. Freak, I'm sorry, I am not a backwards driver. We've taught Canada's worst drivers how to go backwards. By now, they fully grasp the concept of the S-turn. They understand front-end swing. They have practiced and practiced parallel parking. Now, in this, our final episode, their first challenge will combine all those elements, and it will come together in one dastardly challenge that we call... Can you reverse in a straight line? The Canada's Worst Driver finalists will have to reverse down this perfectly straight laneway. To pass, they must get all the way through in 20 seconds or less without having their car hit anything. And it's not just any car I'm talking about either. It's our absolutely gorgeous 1967 Chrysler Newport that is in such good shape, grandfathers everywhere want to own it. Aaron volunteers to go first in our straight line challenge. We can do this, guys. 
Aaron can't do it going the super slow speed he starts off at. 18, 19, 20. Aaron knows he has to do this entire course in less than 20 seconds, but... 58, 59, that's a minute already. He is crawling along, and... He's hitting things. Watching every move the bad drivers make is our team of experts. We've got... Traffic law guru, Cam Woolley. Therapist, Shamala Kiru. And our driving instructors, Philippe Letourneau and Peter Mellor. I'm not hopeful about this one. At the end of this show, these experts will help me decide who is Canada's worst driver. And if Aaron doesn't hurry up, it'll be him. He finishes his first run in... Five minutes and five seconds. Okay, the goal is 20 seconds. 20, two, zero. On his second run... Go. Aaron is out of control. <laughs> Try going straight for a second and just make sure you're going straight and then... Thank you, Sly. To see if they can pass this challenge... Go! Drivers get 10 chances. Awesome! Sly, I need you to shut up, please. Okay, sorry. Sly keeps chatting. Oh, wow. And Aaron keeps hitting. Oh, d f off. For f sakes. Straighten your wheels! I really want Aaron to pass, but... Oh, he's justifying to the passenger side. Ouch. Aaron is looking... Go. Like he may never pass. Five seconds. Holy Car. On your mark. Get set. Go. There you go. There's a start. Well, there's a finish. For <laughs> sake. Oh. I have a terrible, terrible feeling about this. On his final run, Aaron starts off fast and... He ends with a bang. Aaron might be Canada's worst driver. And I was like, dude, you know what you're doing. Been shown by experts, now f do it. And I cause damage. Aaron still doesn't think he's Canada's worst driver. Because if I did that bad, things are going to get worse. Not necessarily. Shirley is up next. Go! Shirley gets off to a fast start. Oh, oh my God. She accelerates smoothly. Hey, look at this. And she finishes in 19 seconds. Oh, yes. Oh, mama, yeah. yeah. So wait. Yes. I did it. 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 Oh, and I know I could. I know I could. I know I could. I know I could. Shirley and I have shared many hugs at the rehab center. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> After the snowplow challenge after the moose avoiding challenge oh god love you and after every challenge she passed but this hug will be the sweetest of them all shirley can reverse in a straight line i'm the proudest canadian today sly says he's going to go fast Go! Whoa, that is fast. It's too fast! Oh. 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 <sighs> Freak. Everybody's okay? Yeah. yeah. Even though that was clearly a failure. Oh. Oh. 
I want Sly to complete this attempt so he can get a better feel for the car. Holy cow. I can't seem to do this. What is he doing? That was a complete disaster. On his second run, disaster ensues again. God. We taught you everything you need to know to accomplish this, did we? Yes. We should have also taught Sly car repair. Ah. Oh, I liked that car. As Sly lines up for his eighth attempt, our pristine Newport is pristine no more. Man, what is it about one's eyes that makes you go where you don't want to go because you're looking at it? Sly's ninth run gets off to a terrible start. Crap. Well. But his final attempt starts perfectly. Good. Good. Will this be Sly's winning effort? Oh, I, I just lost. Sly should consider giving up driving. I can't give up my driver's license. I mean, I use it for, uh, to earn income. When we come back, Canada's worst drivers do our annual mega challenge. We did 24 driving challenges at our rehab center this year. Now, we've got bits and pieces of all those challenges rolled up into one single challenge. And we call it... The Mega Challenge! Before they do the Mega Challenge, I'll show you how it's done in the finest car we have in our fleet this season. Oh, sure, the freshly painted Challenger looks like a wreck, but... She's still running. Here we go, and as we know, this car likes to go 50, 40, 50, just like that. The Mega Challenge starts with a 50k an hour slalom around some defenseless hockey players. Whoa! Now I gotta drop my speed down to 40 to make the icy corner. That's right, an icy corner awaits. Slam on the brakes, turn the wheel. Then release the brakes. If you don't release them, the car will never turn. Woo, just at the last second. The icy corner leads to a narrow laneway of cars that leads to a corral built for doing donuts. Once drivers successfully accomplish a donut, this car loves to do donuts. Look at that. And I'm out. The way out leads to a hallway of rims that only lasts for 20 meters. And now it's time for the reversing section. And almost immediately, I'm 